Good morning. Hello, hello. We have a rainy Tuesday after a rainy Monday. How about that? Lots of rain, which is kind of necessary around these parts. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Hi, friends. All right. Today we're going to look at... Um, at the epistle for the day, at the at the reading, um, which is in Galatians. Uh, where are we? It's like Galatians five one to six ish, I think. Galatians five one to six. We're gonna start there. Um, but let's start with the Holy Spirit prayer first. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you will renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Are you having trouble finding it? I understand. It's right after Corinthians. It's very small. No, there you go. Now look, five. Galatians 5, 1. That's where we're starting. Um... That. Actually, I'm going to go back to 31, uh, 431, just because I don't want to start in the middle of a sentence. So. so then, friends, we are children, not of the slave, but of the free woman. For freedom, for freedom Christ has set us free. Stand firm, there, stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. The nature of Christian freedom... Oh, sorry, that's just a heading in my Bible. <laughs> Listen, I, Paul, am telling you that if you let yourselves be cir circumcised, Christ will be of no benefit to you. Once again, I testify to every man who lets himself be circum circumcised that he is obliged to obey the entire law. You who want to be justified by the law have cut yourselves off from Christ. You have fallen away from grace. For through the Spirit, by faith, we eagerly wait for the hope of righteousness. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything. The only thing that counts is faith working through love. All right. So a little bit of a backstory. Um, Peter and Paul were having an ongoing conversation about circumcision. And there was some disagreement. And Paul held firm that... Um, that that law, that legality, um, was not necessary for salvation, that Christ had come to take away um, the legality part of it, and that we are saved through grace um, and, and not through any legalism on our part. And, and we see that in today's gospel, too. He's talking to the Pharisees about their ritual washing and, and there too, um, the whole idea is your heart and, um, and what Christ has already done for you. So I want to go real quick um, back to Galatians 2, um, where, where he says, It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Um, and that's Galatians 2.20. And, and kind of keep that in your back of your mind while you unpack um, this reading. So um, it, it begins with with some very straightforward reasons, like why are you here? Um, we are here to live in freedom through Christ. That was why he came. He came to give us the freedom to live. So we're no longer slaves. We don't obey because we're afraid of the master. We don't obey because we feel like we have some huge debt to repay to Jesus. Um, that's fruitless. We can never repay the debt. Um, we, you know, he died for us. He set us free. Um, but he set us free to live in freedom. So um, he's already paid for that freedom. And he doesn't want us to live under the wake of the yoke of slavery. And he doesn't want us to try to earn salvation. So, so he doesn't want us um, to earn his profits by our investments, right? That's not the point. Um, the point isn't to obey out of fear or obey because we have no choice or obey because somehow we can make up for what he had to sacrifice for us. The point 
is um, is to live a life of joyful, genuine freedom in Christ and to allow the Holy Spirit to work through us, um, to, to freely accept that now Christ lives in us. Um, and the more completely Christ can live, the Spirit can live and work through us, um, the more genuinely joyful that we are. So how do we do that? How do we live in the freedom of allowing the Spirit to live through us? Um, well, we stay in a state of grace. That would be the first thing. Um, when we're in a state of grace, we can accept and cooperate uh, with the Holy Spirit. Um, and, and then, so, so this, um, verse 5, For through the Spirit, by faith, we await the hope of righteousness. So, um, by staying in a state of grace and ex being able to receive the Holy Spirit by faith. So, so faith is a gift. Um, it is true that, that some of us are more able to have that kind of faith and others struggle harder. Um, but it's also an ascent. It is, it is taking that little kernel of faith and saying, okay, this is all I have. I have this little kernel of faith, but with that kernel, I'm going to step out in faith. And so see my faith, see how little it is, and please increase it. Um, so now I have to find my place. So through the Spirit, by faith, we eagerly await the hope of righteousness. So through grace, with faith, in hope. Um, and I think that that's important, all those things. So we can live and move under the awesome power of the Holy Spirit through faith, in grace, with hope, right? Um, and And... So then, I'm trying to bounce around here and not take up too much of your time. So, um, so then look at, for in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything. So he's basically saying, this, this rule um, is not what saves you. You're following these, um, I don't know, these, these technical things. That's not what saves you. Um, the only thing that counts is faith working through love. So the only thing that counts is loving God and having faith to let the Spirit work through you, to live for Him. So St. Augustine said, love God, then do what you will. Um, and, and I think that, that that helps us understand how best to make decisions, right? How to live that out in our lives. Um, we begin with the facts. What do we know for sure? Um, and then we let our heart, our love of God, educate and inform our mind. So um, our love of God can, um, can, can educate and influence our reason in discerning what is his will. Because that's what this is all about. This is, this is about um, the freedom of Christ setting us free to live in freedom um, and and so in the very beginning of this verse he says do not submit again to a yoke of slavery so we have to be careful that um, that we operate out of the freedom already given to us and that the cross set us free truly and we don't bind ourselves up again in the things of the world um, and and so when we make decisions we make those decisions out of a freedom um, all God's signs should line up when we make decisions. We look for church teaching. We look for scripture. We look for our reason. We look for the circumstances which God controls by his providence. Um, we, look at, we listen to our own conscience and our own instinct. Um, and then and we pray. And, and then these passages are followed very soon by the fruits of the Holy Spirit. So do you see that fruit, the fruit of that freedom? Um, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, all of those things, are they there? Um, or are you operating from a spirit of fear? Um, are you operating from a spirit of anger or anxiousness or worriedness? Um, that is not freedom. That is not God's will for us. God's will 
is to operate out of the freedom already given and not to bind ourselves up again. All right, so prop your Bible open to Galatians 5, 1 through 6, or go on all the way through and look at those fruits of the Spirit. It's never, a, never um, a bad list to ponder. Do you see that? The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. And against such things there is no law. Those who belong to Christ have crucified the flesh with passions and desires. So those who live in the freedom of the cross and are not bound again into the spirit of slavery will see those fruits. All right. Proper props open. Revisit it again during the day, and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks for being here. Bye. Bye.